Hey, I'm Luke Andrews. We're here at the National Farm Machinery Show. I want to take a second to go over our fixed knife technology and tell you what it does and what it's made for. Uh, first off, you see uh, it stands out. You don't have the stump jumper pan. You have a, a dual set of blades. Uh, this particular unit has what we call just a standard flat blades with double-sided edges. This is set for non-updraft, which is made for mostly for cotton. Uh, the way this works is these two blades will straddle these fixed knife blades. You have one on top and bottom. Uh, and what it is is you get extra cuts with the two blades and you get additional extra two cuts with the fixed knife. Now, the standard tradition for cutting cotton stalks is to use a flail mower. I have two cotton stalks here. This one is cut with a flail mower and this one's cut with a Schulte. Now, if I was to run over this with a tractor tire, this one's gonna be a lot more forgiving. Not only that, but the, when it's shattered, the stalks like this, it's gonna give you more of a breakdown and it's gonna be a lot softer. If you're gonna cut corn residue, we suggest putting a updraft blade on the bottom side. Uh, corn, soybeans, you can cut grass with this unit. You're not as protected when you don't have a stump jumper pan, but you can cut grass. We recommend to remove our fixed knife and add one suction, or bottom size of suction up, su up draft suction blades on it. Some applications in corn, you will have to put, I mean uh, in cotton, you will have to put a lighter updraft blade on it. Like if you're, there's some guys have uh, in the south, we do raised beds, plant on raised beds. So you need a little bit of an updraft in order to get those stalks up and out of the ground. And it gives you a smaller size residue. It is very important when you get these cutters to read the owner's manual and have them set correctly. So if we are cutting corn, we want the front of this cutter a little bit higher for the allow us updraft and suction in there with updraft blades. If we are cutting cotton, we want to start off with the flat blades or if we're maybe even raised beds, you want to do a lighter updraft blade with the cutter set level. Uh, minimum tractor requirements on this unit with fixed knife, it does move up. Uh, you need to be probably in the 100 range to get the adequate horsepower and the travel speed you need. You can achieve it with the less horsepower, but you need to uh, keep in mind that if you want faster travel speeds, it will be it will take more horsepower to do so. If for more information, uh, visit us at www.schulte.ca or visit a nearest dealer near you. Thanks for watching.